Over the last five years, I have lived and traveled all over the world. It started off by getting a teaching job in China right after graduation and living there for, you know, a year, followed by six months of backpacking Asia, then moving to Prague for another teaching job, and then Vietnam after that. Once I was done teaching, I was able to get a fully remote job and live the digital nomad lifestyle while traveling South America, which was Oh my god, it was incredible. And honestly, I had every intention of continuing to do that, you know, lifestyle for the next year and maybe even next year too, all around Europe. So you might be asking yourself, why did you move to the UK then? Or what made me want to live here? So like I said, I had a fully remote job and we were kind of toying with the idea of bouncing around Europe month to month, like we did in South America or doing like three months in Europe and three months out, like maybe in the UK, Turkey, or somewhere outside the Schengen zone, since Americans are only allowed to stay in that area for three months at a time. It was never really on our agenda to just like fully move to the UK and like settle here. But long story short, I ended up getting an amazing job opportunity here in the field I've always dreamed of working in. So it just worked out and all of our plans were completely changed within like a week, which has just been so crazy trying to find an apartment, which Oh my god, honestly is the most challenging and frustrating process I've ever been through. I'll do a full video on that later and all the other things that come along with moving to a new place. So the short answer to the question, why did I personally move to the UK is I got a great job opportunity, but I wanted to focus this video on reasons why you should move to the UK or the pros of moving to the UK from the US in my opinion. Don't kill me if you don't agree with some of these points. They are simply my opinion. First off, let's talk about the working culture. This is something I've always disliked about America and like American culture in general. We just focus our entire lives around work and I want to focus my life on living, like enjoying my life, which a lot of other countries do so well, especially in Europe, but also here in the UK too. So at my current job that I just got, I am a full-time employee and that means working 35 hours a week, which is so crazy to me. I thought that was a typo on my work contract, but no, it's real. I also get 38 vacation days a year, 33 to use whenever I please, and five more because we are closed the week between Christmas and New Year's. And I think any American would agree that that is just insane. Like most of my jobs in the US have always been about five vacation days per year. So when I read 38 in my contract, I almost had a heart attack. I was like, wow, they actually genuinely want me to have a good work-life balance. What a concept. Also, just to go along with this, the maternity leave is up to one full year, which again is just so crazy to me considering the US federal law entitles you to zero days. But anyways, moving on. Another huge factor for me and probably anyone considering moving here is its geographical location. Like practically anywhere in Europe is less than a two hour flight away and you can find incredibly cheap flights. Like when I just use Google Flights flexible searching options and just click, you know, anywhere in Europe at any time, I've found round trip flights to Malaga, Spain for 20 pounds, Oslo, Norway for 33 pounds, Rome, Italy for 38 pounds. So if you're just living here full time, just whenever you find a cheap flight like that, you can easily just pop over there for the weekend. So as someone who absolutely loves to travel, this is a huge positive for me to be able to see as much of Europe as I can. But also I've been dying to travel more of the Middle East and the flights are still, you know, super quick and affordable to some of those countries as well. Obviously comparing that to the States, like I've found flights to Israel for only 80 pounds round trip and it's only five hours away. So it could easily be done in a four to five day trip, which you obviously could not do from the States. And lastly, because it's such a huge travel hub with, you know, a ton of airport options, it really is easy for friends and family to come visit from the States, which I like. There are several Several, several direct flights daily from LA to London and I found such good deals so it'll be nice to actually have visitors while we're living here and to piggyback off the last point yes it's so close to so many amazing and beautiful travel destinations but the UK within itself is a major travel destination it has way more diversity than I ever knew before moving here and since it's so well connected by trains and buses it's relatively easy to see it all even though I don't have a car like not only do you have the big cities with beautiful architecture like London, Oxford, Edinburgh, but you also have the countryside and the highlands and the Lake District and something that completely shocked me, tons of beautiful beaches and islands. Like 
When you think of the UK, you do not think of islands with crystal clear water, but they exist. You have some white cliff with ocean views that are great for hiking. And honestly, you know, the list just goes on and on. And that's something that's really important to me when I'm picking a place to live. Like. I'm from the States. We are a massive country filled with so much to do and so many beautiful sights to see. And that's how I felt when living in China and Vietnam too. Like, yes, they were great travel hubs for traveling other parts of Asia, but the amount of things to do just within each of these countries is insane. And since I'm always itching for a travel adventure, it's perfect for me, you know? I'm so excited to get out and find these beautiful hidden gems all over the UK since there's just so much more to do and see here than most people think, myself included. This next point is specific to living in London and probably some of the other big cities in the UK, like Birmingham or Edinburgh, but I love, love, love not having to drive. And unless you live in New York or Chicago back in the States, you absolutely have to drive. Like, I just much prefer walking everywhere and taking public transportation everywhere. I feel like I'm always active and like working out without even really realizing it. Plus, I really feel like I get to know my city more when I'm walking around instead of driving. Like, you should see my average steps for the month of June being back home in LA. It's very, very sad versus being here at the month of August. Like you can literally see the difference. The stats don't lie and you feel the difference too. Like it's just so funny because back home, I literally live on the same street as a grocery store, but it's like weird to walk there. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but basically I don't go to the store unless I get a ride. Like you will not see me walk in there, but here I'm like, wow, it's three miles away. Like sweet, let's just walk. It's just a totally different culture and it's really socially acceptable to just walk everywhere since most people are doing it. I'm sure there are more things, like as soon as I'm done recording this or I post it, I'm gonna think of more, but those are really like the main reasons why I moved to the UK and why I'm so happy to be here. You know, the working culture, the travel opportunities, both inside the UK and all around, you know, Europe, Middle East and like, you know, close regions and not having to drive everywhere or own a car, which is expensive. Obviously, since I live here now, I have so much UK content and London specific content coming your way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on full, like fully detailed itineraries, hidden gems to visit, and so much more. And if there's anything you'd specifically like me to make a video about in the UK or in regards to, you know, like moving or living in London specifically, please comment down below. That's really the whole point of my channel. I truly, truly, truly want to help make your travel planning stress-free or like as stress-free as it can be, or your moving and living abroad dreams come true if that's what you want to do. So now let's take a look at one of the most beautiful cities in the UK. Let's see what the top 10 things to do in Edinburgh, Scotland are.